So you, welcome to Noob Channel, I'm Lobo and today we're gonna fix Darksiders 2. This game is a really old game, really amazing game with really beautiful graphics but the optimization is just terrible, you know? And I was playing this game in my new rig and I was crashing all the time. Every single time I was playing, I crashed it somewhere and I looked for answers, looked for solutions online and I could find it, but information is kind of fragmented, you get a tip here, a tip there and you mix it all together and then you can make it work. So I'm making this video so that you watch it, you follow it, or you follow it, and you can just play it plainly okay. So stick with me. And by the way, I'm a, a Twitch streamer. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you wanna follow me, the links in the description of this channel and in the description of this video. So without further ado, we're gonna change our sources here so you can see my game. And as you can see, I've been playing this game for quite some time. I killed Killington already. So yeah, I have plenty of hours in this game. And my first playthrough, I crashed all the time. So the thing here is, this game is, in terms of graphics, although it looks amazing, graphics are terrible underneath. So what I did to solve the problems was, I turned off the ambient occlusion, this option right here, I turned it off shadow quality, I think you can get by with the middle option or lower options, just don't put it to maximum, to optimal, ever. I rather put it in the, the lowest possible and you turn off anti-aliasing. So I found all this information online, but they forgot to mention and it took me some time because I kind of a newbie in terms of new rigs, modern rigs, I just bought this one. So it took me some time to figure out why, even though I've made these changes, my game was still crashing, but I managed to find the answer. People forget to mention when they are trying to help you, not their fault, because they suppose you already know, but they forgot to mention that you got, if you have a modern graphics card, like me, I got a RTX NVIDIA graphics card, uh, 2080 Super, I guess it's called. You got these options here, where you can put anti-aliasing in the game no matter what options you have inside there. And if you have anti-aliasing here, it will get you into trouble. So you go to the program settings. If you don't have this program settings here, I'm using NVIDIA control panel. Maybe your graphics card is AMD. Uh, process will be similar. You will have some kind of control panel for, for the Radeon series. So you have to come here what I changed here was basically this one, anisotropic filtering. I put it to application controlled, anti-aliasing should be off right now. I, I don't know why it's on, but yeah, I put it to off the FXAA and then gamma correction off mode, anti-aliasing mode, application controlled. These two other ones, these are, you can't uh, set it off, so I just kept it the way it was, 
Low latency mode, I put it to off. Don't worry about latency, it's an old game. It won't give you latency. It isn't uh, resource demanding enough to give you lag, to, to make you lag, all right? So put it to off. And then here, shader cache off. Test your filtering. You don't need this, okay? So test your filtering, an isotropic sample off. Negative LOD bias. I I don't know why is it, why it's set to allow right now. Maybe because it's been a long time since I used it, but put it to clamp. Okay. And that's it. Pretty much that's it. I got vertical sync here to on because of G Sync. It's an entirely another topic. If you want me to talk about this, I can talk in another video. But yours should be off. If you don't use G-Sync, this should be off. If you do use G-Sync, you can keep it on. It, it won't matter at all. So that's it. Then you're gonna apply it. Don't forget to apply it, otherwise the, the changes won't take effect and your game will crash uh, nonetheless. So yeah, after this, you will be able to play it smoothly, I hope, okay? Shadows will be a little trashy. Uh, let me see if I can show you the, the shadows. For some reason I can't, maybe down there. Oh, all right. Uh, I'll just go really quick to Tristan to show you the shadows. It's a lot pixelated, as you can see there. See the shadows on the floor? So yeah, you're gonna play with shitty shadows, but image will be good whatsoever. As you can see, I got really good graphics, uh, except by shadows. Game looks beautiful, in my opinion. And you won't crash again. You will be able to play and enjoy it without all that headache. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, if it helped me, if it helped you to not crash again, remember to give me a comment. Tell me that it succeeded. Give me this feedback. If you liked the video, remember to hit the thumbs up button, the like button down there. And that's it. And if you want to see some more content like this, if you are struggling to make some game work in your rig, uh, leave a comment in the descriptions. Maybe I can help you. If you want to see more content like this, remember to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. That's it for today, guys. Bye.